everyone, this is Amber with Economical Mommy, and today I am reviewing a running armband by i2 Gear. Cute, isn't it? Anyways, um, there's quite a few things that I like about this, and there's quite a few things I don't like about it. And I'm going to show you what all of those things are. We're going to start off with what you get when you get with this running armband. I'm going to start off with pointing out that there is this little gray trim right around here. So you can actually go running at night because it is reflective, which I find a huge plus because I find that I prefer running at night or really, really early in the morning when it's still not so bright out. And a lot of that's just because I don't want people to see me run. I think I run funny. But anyways, besides the point. So I find this very useful with the reflective tape around the edges. Another thing that I like about it is if you need to lock your house before you leave, I don't have to typically because my hubby is already home, so I don't have to worry about that. But there is a little slot right there for your key if you need to do that, which is a huge plus for those of you that do need to lock up before you go for a run. Now with it, you get this really long, Velcro piece and this little short piece right here. Now one of the things I didn't like about it is this is not long enough. I find that I am pushing it to the limits a lot of the time. And it needs to be tight around your arm, yes, but it doesn't need to strangle it. Now I may have chubbier arms than most, but they should give leeway and not think that everyone is skinny, skinny, skinny. So another thing that I liked about it is it is really easy right back here. You can just stick your phone right in there and I'll show you that. Now you're going to see that I left my case on and the reason for that is because it is not tight enough otherwise. So there we go. And look at that, I'll even turn my phone on. Ta-da! Now, one of the things that I don't like about this is with the case on it, yes, it is more bulky. And no, it does not line up. Those two holes in the back are meant for your jack. So you can listen to music while you're on your run. They don't match up with the OtterBox case that I have on here. However, take the OtterBox off and I'll show you some of the things I don't like about it. Okay, so no OtterBox. And I'll put it back in here. And then I run across the same problem. And as you can see, the jack does not line up with this hole or with this hole. So I can't even listen to my music unless I pull it back like this. And then I run into the issue of will my phone fall out of the case. Now I'm going to turn around and show you why I don't like it without my OtterBox. And that is because it does this. I'll turn it on so you can just see it a little bit better. It moves around way, 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 way too easily. I don't really like that. So one of the things that this is made out of, it's made out of neoprene in the back. So it doesn't, it doesn't make you sweat, which I find a huge plus. Um, and I'm going to show you also on here for, yeah, if you didn't notice this before, it has, it has letters down here to actually show you how to put the Velcro through. I know, right? So we're going to put A, and then we're going to loop it around and put B. And as you can see, your key gets hidden, which is a huge plus. Okay, so it's through, and now I'm going to put this on. Okay, this is without it. And as you can see, I only get a little bit right there. I personally would love it if this went around a little bit more. I feel like it would be a lot more secure. But this also means I can't run with a sweatshirt on or a running jacket or anything else because this Velcro is not long enough. It really has to be on my bare arm, which means I can't use it during the winter or the spring because I usually run with a running jacket or a sweatshirt. So then here you go. 
put it on with the phone in there without the OtterBox. And as you can see, I just put the phone in there. And it's really hard to tighten it up otherwise. And it's a lot less for Velcro right there. So what happens if I use it with my OtterBox? All right, so it's in the case. Now I'm going to try the same thing here, okay? Oops. Now I'm going to say this. I have reviewed another one another armband by another company and they have the same exact problem with the velcro so if someone can come up with something where this is longer be awesome now it works out perfect you can also turn it here and everything like that but once again just remember you got to keep this little flap right here off so hopefully your phone doesn't come running out I feel pretty secure with it being like this way because I have my OtterBox on my phone, which means it's a lot less likely to just fly out. Whereas if my phone is not in the OtterBox, then I am dealing with a situation on my phone moving around a lot and it possibly flying up if I fall, or which would be very, very not fun if that happened. But there is always a possibility. So, I just find that it works better with the outer box in there. I like it also because it is pretty slim, it's not bulky, and I can easily just stick it right into my purse if I want to go walking at our local mall during the winter or if I want to go work out at the gym. It's really easy, it just fits right in there and I don't have to worry about putting it all together when I get there. So huge plus and everything like that. So this is the review of the running armband by i2 gear. And I also just want to say one thing here too. Um, I put my husband's iPhone in here and it kind of did about the same thing. None of the stuff matched up either. So for me, you can use it with an iPhone or with the regular Galaxy phone, which is what this is really originally for. It's for your Galaxy S2 S3, S4, and S5. So if you have a Galaxy S phone that is in that category, it's supposed to work with this. However, the end result is it does not work with it. Not if you are looking at the holes for your jacks. If they really wanted to improve this armband, they would lengthen this piece right here, the Velcro and everything, and then they would just make this be one big wide loop instead of two holes they just do one big long hole then there's no way to mess it up no matter where your jack is at there's no way to mess it up and your phone wouldn't fall out either way so those are my recommendations to i2 gear about their running armband for the s2 s3 s4 and s5 all right, if you'd like to see more reviews like this, or you'd like to see your product reviewed by myself, go ahead and email us at economicalmommy1, that would be the number one, at gmail.com. And if you really like this review, please hit the subscribe button below and like this video as well. And if you really want to help me out, share the video with your friends who are looking at the possibility of buying a running armband. All right, you guys all have a wonderful day, and make sure to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and LinkedIn. Have a good day, everyone.